Good. I feel good. I feel healthy. Ready to get the girl on. I think I've been doing the best two days. I felt great. What was the offseason going to be? Did it go from, you know, obviously the trade and working for everybody you've got the first couple of years to all of a sudden being this, you know, coveted piece and several teams were interested in? What was the process going to be down the road? Yeah, the process was, you know, it was, it was different. It was my first time going through something like that. And, you know, being there was just three days and didn't really have much of a decision. It's, you know, we didn't really have much control of the situation. The only thing I could control was uh, accepting or not accepting any offers you know, sent toward me. And I kind of had the mindset where I was just whatever happened, happened. I didn't really stress about it because, you know, why would I, you know, why stress about something that's out of your control? And so, you know, very fortunate for Ryan Poles and the Chicago coaching staff to have faith in me and, you know, want to be a part of the team. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm very happy to, you know, still be a Buffalo with the guys. And he's my guy. I didn't want anyone to leave him. You know, it sucks in the situation I was. Having me, you know, it was an opportunity to leave, and you know, I didn't really want that. I wanted to stay here. I'm very, very happy. I'm sorry about that. There's been a fair amount of flux for. Thank you. Um, you know, with the group in, in general, um, how much of a challenge is that in terms of the cohesion, the communication, or whatever that you look for uh, on the line, uh, in light of the fact you're dealing with a new position coach there and a new offensive? So I say it again? How much, like, you know, given the fact there's been a lot of moving parts and guys in and out, you guys really haven't been together as a projected starting five anyway yet. Um, how much of a challenge is that at this point, looking forward to the season to kind of get things uh, Yeah, it's very, you know, we have a lot of people, you know, have some soft tissue stuff here and there. You know, some people might have missed some practices. Um, you know, it's very important to when we have those walkthroughs, you know, it's, it's important to when we all, you know, some some people not be might not be full going practice, but they'll be able to do walkthroughs. And having those walkthrough reps is very important to get you know everyone on the same page, especially as an offensive line, because there's five individuals need to work as one. It's very important to get on the same page, make sure everyone has their eyes in the right spot, and just really make sure the communication is on on point. And do you guys feel maybe like you're playing a little bit of catch up at this point, or is it too early to say? Uh, I don't think we play catch up at all. I think I think we're I think we're ready to roll, honestly. I think we feel great as a, as a unit. I, you know, we have a lot of depth, and you know, we have the mindset where if someone's not ready to go, the next person in mentality, and we're going to roll forward. You've always been a guy who can really play all five positions. But, I mean, is it is it more zeroing in now for you? So it seems like you know your role might be a little bit more change and some of the depth they have behind you, or is it still the same thing where you kind of need to know all of that in case something were to happen? Uh, yeah, I mean. Given where I've been the past three years, having that ability where I played all five positions, um, you know, our offense is very similar to the ones we've had in years past, and so I still, you know, have a good recollection of all those different positions and all those different roles we play. Really, when you when you understand the center position, everything else kind of falls in place because if you know center, you know guard, you know guard, you know tackle, you know tackle, you know tight end, and so it really works inside out. Um, and it's nice having the ability to, you know, this year being focused on one spot, and that's that right card for me right now. And I, you know, I feel comfortable. You know, I feel great. So you're saying you know tight end too? Oh yeah, I know tight end. <laughs> how much, how much uh, knowing the trust that Coach McDermott in this organization has, like first of all, we're trading for you, and then bringing it back when you was, you know, in the market. Let's like, say, how much does that give you the confidence knowing that you have that trust? In this you know, it's awesome. It's, it's very, it's nice to be wanted. You know? It's nice for someone to want you on their team. Um, you know, I have a great relationship with uh, Dermot and Bean, and I'm very fortunate to be in the position I am right now. I'll be back with Buffalo Bills. What was it last season that you and Dean were seeing that? You guys developed a good point. It seemed like the late season, you were just firing off. You could tell you guys had, a, had something going on. Oh, yeah. Firing off in the camp. Dan's my guy. You know, <clears throat> we, had a great, we had a great chemistry last year. Um, you know, we were on point. We were, you know, passing off twists. We were, you know, great combos in the run game. And, you know, we, we, have, we have a good chemistry. We had a good chemistry last year playing next to each other. What are some places that you more than this In terms of... Uh, uh, not much, to be honest. It, it really still feels like the same team it was, you know, last year. Um, you know, it's great having... Aaron, I've been learning, learning so much from Cromer. He's such a good teacher, and you know it's great having his 
his a little fresher perspective. You know, he's been around for a long time. He's been, you know, he's been working at a high level with high, high, like very talented players throughout his career. And he's been very successful with it. He understands just the game of football so well. You know, X's and O's, offensive, defense, and you know, it's it's nice having to learn from him. You know, just playing each, you know, every defense you play is going to be different. You know, and he understands that whether, you know, some defenses might be a penetrating, you know, specifically on D-line, there would be a penetrating defense where they're just blowing smoke up the A-gap and the B-gap, and some teams, you know, like the Redskins, there'll be two gappers where they foul the guards. And, you know, each, each scheme, you're going to have to play different techniques against, and he understands that, because you can't do certain techniques versus penetrators that you can do first two gappers. You know, and he understands understands that and you know, he understands what works and it's it's nice for to get that perspective and you know, like I said, it's been around for a long time and he gets it, he understands it, he knows what works. Alright, okay. I just want to say how's it going against this D line? It's great, you know, we have a lot of talent on D line. It's, it's I was just an interview over there and just talking about the depth we have. You know, we, you know starting with you know Vaughn Miller, Greg Rousseau, Ed Oliver, Tim Saddle, Jordan Phillips. Well, you bash on, I can go on and on. You know, it's, it's, there's no drop off whatsoever between the ones and the twos. Right, the other day, Josh said that Mitch Morris has been like, playing out of his mind as Canvas has been really consistent for the offensive line. Um, what is he beyond playing center? What does he bring for Vivian, and, and how has it made a difference in this trade? Yeah, Mitch is awesome. Mitch is a good friend of mine. I've been able to learn from him and also you know, play next to him this past, really, his fourth year. Um, you know, I think he's, he has over 100 snaps in his career, you know, 100 starts, which is that's not a lot of people have that in the NFL. Uh, he's played a lot of ball. He's, he's you know done a lot of things, and you know, not only is such a smart and physical football player, he's a great dude. And it's, you know, good to have him as a teammate, as a friend. How about you say when he picks one line to just really, really gel together? together? I mean, it's it's that's a you know hard question. It's all different. You know, it's all different. You know, depending on the people and. I mean, right now, I think we're, we're such a close-knit group as an offensive line. I think, I mean, our chemistry right now is on point. I think we're, we're at a good spot right now. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.